morning class you are once again welcome to our online learning platform this is our um, quantitative reasoning class for primary one and i would like to officially welcome you to this very class and i would like to urge you to sit tight listen and, and pay good attention to what we are going to uh, learn this morning okay to set the ball rolling um we are going to be looking at subtraction okay subtraction last week we looked at subtraction of um, uh, some currency we looked at the subtraction of euro and then ne and kobo actually and today we want to look at a subtraction of cent and kobo okay uh we have two examples on the board already captured and i would like to uh, explain the two examples to you and then you will subsequently handle some exercises now if you have your test book with you your quantitative uh, test book that is you can do well you can open to page 76 of your test book and handle the exercises there okay but before you do that i would like you to listen to these various explanations here we have the first example on the board which is um uh we have this sign this is the sign of cent this one two the sign of cent and then we have 18 cent here we have three cent and then we have 15 cent here we have 15 kobo here we have two kobo here and 13 kobo in the map map out in these boxes and cycles okay so the first one here 18 cent i told you with subtraction we are looking at the first one here is what um 18 cent minus three cent when you have 18 uh, objects be it uh, money or any object you can think of maybe stones anything or 18 cars objects or uh, money or anything we have 18 of them when you take away three or remove three out of 18 you have what 15 that is to say um you count one two three four five six seven eight hope you're seeing nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. If you have 18 of these objects and you're asked to take away 3, you take this one away, take this one away, take this one away, then you count the remaining ones. Then you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And this is the 15 captured here. Okay, good. Now the second example is 15 minus 15 kobo minus 2 kobo. Now you count 15 kobo. How many kobos? 15 kobo. You count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You have 15 kobo. Let's assume these are the 15 kobos captured on the board here. And then you are supposed to subtract 2. That good. These are 2 out already here. Now we will now count the remaining ones. Let's count the remaining kobos that remain uh, here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's count them uh, gently. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And we have 13 here. The answer is yes. So that is how to solve these equations. Now you have series of them from 1 to 12. I mean 1 to 16 on page 76 and 77 of your exercise books and you, you will do well if you practice how to subtract the first one there is 27 cent minus 20 cent okay number two is a box minus 12 okay now and there's another thing there there's another thing I would like to explain to you here look at this for example this 15 is missing okay this 15 is missing now you are expected to look for this 15 how will you be able to get this 15 now look at this properly now you know that this 15 you subtract you actually subtracted 2 from this 15 and you got 13 now since the main number is missing here instead of subtracting now you have two numbers so to look for this or to get this number that is missing here you add these two numbers here when you add them okay when you add these two numbers 
it will now give you rise to the 15 here. So when you count to, count to, 1, 2, and then you have um, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's how you get the 15. And then it appears here. So as you go down, if any of this is missing, if any of these two numbers are missing, eh? if any one is missing, then you add this one and the other one. Okay? You, if this one is missing, add this one and this one, you get this. If this one is missing, okay? If this one is missing, then definitely this one will be given. This one will also be given. Then you now subtract this from this. Then you get this one. Okay? So I hope you will listen to this video over and over again. And then you do well by solving the equations in your exercise books. If you have any difficulty, you can relate to me. You drop your question or your comment in the forum section of this uh, platform. And I will do well by getting back to you. Thank you and you've been blessed. Thank you.